Buenos dias, mi amores. I have amazing news today, and that is that I don't have any bad news. It is 7.25 in the morning. The sun is obnoxiously shining. I might just be delusionally tired, but March is always an absolute banger of a month, so I'm just, you know, I'm happy to be here. Maybe at some point we'll get a front door, but if not, oh well, it's March. Some would say my chicken coop looks a little trashy, but it's March. Some would say my garden looks a little dead, but it's March. You think you're gonna march on my parade? You probably can, but either way, it's fucking March. I've written love song on love song without knowing what love was. Bro. <laughs> Said things like I saw lovely, but the window for saw the sun come. <laughs> Going for insulation uh, next week, and then drywall, and then drywall. I thought I could show you a full that could have been house a tour word before we start adding actual walls because the whole layout has changed, oh, when a the whole structure has changed. Shot, this is good enough. Getting your good source of vitamin D. <laughs> vitamin D. Don't get excited, Lucas. All my ears ever hear since you asked me to be just yours. Okay, drum roll, please. If I could give you the dumbed down Spark Notes version, which is like what I take in, what has happened up until this point is that it is preparing for what I like to call les majors. Inspection. So it's all the plumbing, all the framing, all the electric, all the HVAC, windows, doors. Mm, I'm definitely missing something, but I'm only capable of thinking like so fast right now. But anyway, getting ready for Le Méchot Inspector. And that is where we are beginning chapter two. Ah! <laughs> oh, I got that. That's your glamour shot. Woo! Good morning, Lucas. Hello, this morning. We match today. We do match. <laughs> what do we have going on this week, sir? Well, we've had a really, really big uh, week and a half. The week of windows. The week of windows and all of our uh, exterior penetrations, like a sliding glass door going into the Joliet balcony. I'm just listening to Lucas's concert from down here. Oh, uh, you can hear that? The whole zip code can hear. <laughs> oh, you can hear that? I thought I was singing quiet. Oh, I thought I was a door. Got a today. door. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Dealing with a lot of uh, cutting of brick and cutting of stucco. Sam Things has been covered great. in stucco all week. <laughs> Every time I look at Sam, he's covered in everything. Brick, dust, stucco. He's living the dream over there. They are. I got silicone all up my arm. Up your nose. Up my nose. In your ears. A little bit of lung cancer here and there. Who needs that? <laughs> Who needs your lungs? That's why they gave you two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get, okay, get under the arms. They've done a really good job this week. I'm a wreck. Heavy. She didn't seem like she was heavy, but she's, she's heavy. Ah! There we go. Ah! <laughs> That's fucking heavy, Dave. You're fucking animal, As you can see behind us, all the new windows installed. Live action. Live windows. action. Hallway, closet, bathroom. We had the one to set this afternoon in the kitchen, and. That takes care of all of the windows and doors. We're gonna have big, beautiful windows and big, beautiful chickens outside. Chips. We're all getting chickens and we get to name our own chicken. Be ready to go to Murdoch's. Yup, we're going to Murdoch's. <laughs> Cookie is now subject to filming because I'm putting my foot down and you are gonna start helping out around here, okay? Okay. This is always one of my favorite things to do because I genuinely love ThreadUp so much. So if you are unfamiliar, ThreadUp is an online consignment and thrift store. Better for the planet, better for your wallet, better for your 
originality in your style. So here's what I would say you should do, okay? Go on ThreadUp, put in your sizes so you're only seeing things that will fit you so you don't see something and fall in love with it and realize it's like 10 sizes too big or too small. I have made a mastermind list of what you should search on ThreadUp to find the hidden treasures. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that I have gotten for the spring. This is what no one in the world wants you to know. The best place to buy stuff from Aritzia is ThreadUp. I got this Babatone skirt, retails for $105. Yeah, that works. Okay. I got it for $31.99. Brand new with tags. You could buy this in the Aritzia store right now. Gold heels from Lulu's. You had the ThreadUp bag. You had the ThreadUp glasses. I feel like I've gotten a lot better at like using the resources that I have. So I'm gonna show you like my new favorite trick. Ditch the top. Your skirt is suddenly a dress. <laughs> suction her at the waist. Fly in a new bag. I've already showed you this one before and everyone knows that this is my favorite bag. It is a cute little Burberry shoulder bag. This is my really quick backstory. So one day I was strolling through Neiman Marcus and I saw these pair of Jimmy Choo shoes and they were just basic black heels with a cute little black bow on the back. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm literally gonna die if I don't have these shoes. And then I looked at the price and they were a thousand dollars. And I was like, okay, I take it back. If I buy these shoes, I will literally die. And then I was like, okay, Morgan, we have no choice other than to start getting crafty. These are just a pair of like the most basic black heels that you could get. And I got some tool and I made my own little black bow. And I was walking down the streets in New York one time and some man came up to me and he said, Jimmy Shoe, I love your Jimmy Shoes. And I said, you are a Jimmy Foo because these are from literally ThreadUp. I made my own collab, ThreadUp x Joann's. I know that this sounds very like influencer, schminchfluencer. Legitimately half of my closet is ThreadUp. I could show you things all day. That is my ThreadUp rack. I just truly love it so much because I feel like it's an amazing way for people to be able to like experiment with their styles without having to spend so much money. So anyway, if you wanna find some new fun things for your wardrobe this spring, my code is always Morgan and that will get you 35% off your first order plus free shipping on Thread Up. And thank you so much to Thread Up for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so much. I Cookie is peeing in the fucking toilet. I kid you not. I kid you not. This is like, no, this is a problem that we've been having. So, oh my gosh. I cannot believe, I cannot believe. Okay, well, that part was not sponsored by ThreadUp. Hey, I told you, Cookie, we're putting her to work these days. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a ghost, eight. To suction and seal this house up, eight new windows. I ended up reusing a lot of the windows that were already existing because a lot of them were perfectly fine. One folding window, which I'm not sure ever actually made it onto here. So there's an accordion window that goes through the kitchen to what is going to be a bar outside. Two sliding glass doors. You might be looking at this and be like, Morgan, it looks a little funky. Well, I fucked up a little bit and I ordered the wrong color door. So if you're looking at it and you're like, okay, this is looking a little mix and matchy here. It's because I made a minor mistake and we're gonna get it fixed. And then the moment of all moments, I literally could have bared a child in the amount of time that I waited for the store. But in the grand scheme of things, it was like right on time. There was a door in the dining room, but it was already broken. So I was gonna have to get a new door anyway. And I was like, well, we might as well just do it like they do it in Texas, make everything bigger. We're gonna double this baby in size. I'm telling you. Well, actually, you know what? I'll just show you. You close it. <laughs> and now he's gone. It's the number one rule, ladies. They always come back. What did I tell you? <laughs> it, loser, it's locked. You tell me when you want. Oh, you want no. to start right now? No, whenever. I don't care. So, I yeah, you can start whenever you want. I just forgot everything that I wanted to say. <laughs> Sorry. I've done the same exact. Oh, I have gum in my mouth. Ew, hold on. Sorry, to, okay, I'll just hold it for a second. So I've done this clip three times now, and I was like, I could do so much better. Then I went to Whole Foods and got some chicken, and I ate it, and I was projectile vomiting, had food poisoning all night, but I still have faith that I can do better this time than I did the first two times. So, 
He can come inside. <laughs> Considering that we changed absolutely everything about this house, I thought I would show you the new layout, the new pizzazz, the new walkthrough before we start drywall next week. Where we are going to begin, right where we're standing, is the dining room. I wanted like a Kardashian-esque dining room with a big ass long dining room table where you can have really scary, intimidating family drama meetings. Everyone sits around the table and papers are flying around. All of these little chunks that you see cut out of the ceiling. We're gonna light this up. We're gonna make it nice. This room is the only room that's going to have tile, so. It's a statement dining room. That's what I'm envisioning for all of the drama. So you can come back this way. I don't know if feng shui actually does anything for anyone in their life or it's just a term that everyone likes to use. Kitchen next to the dining room so you can take the food to the dining room. Hopefully grandma doesn't throw food in your face. This is all the kitchen. Beautiful blue square. This is where the kitchen island will be. We put this little pantry, teeny tiny, over here separates the dining room and the kitchen a little bit. It has been a hot topic in my family because everyone's like, the pantry is so far from everything. And I'm like, you lazy motherfuckers can't walk 15 feet to a pantry to get some crackers and I don't know what to tell you, that's your own problem. Okay, picture this and how horrible it would have been. So in the first set of <laughs> drawings, <laughs> you don't have to hide. <laughs> um, that's Maddie, she's moving in. <laughs> But this wall was supposed to separate the kitchen, like all of this. And then the pantry was supposed to be right here. How annoying is it gonna be? If you're sitting at your island, minding your own business, and you back your chair up into the wall, like, no. No, it's gonna drive everyone crazy. Brian and I had a telepathy moment on the same exact day where we were like, that wall just like can't be there. The wall was just an unbelievably idiotic thing to do. So we took it out and put the pantry over there. Now everything is open. I'll put back in here. This is going to be the powder bathroom. Okay, picture this. You're having drama at the drama table with all of your drama friends. And like, you just need a minute. You need to like decompress. You need space. It's like a little teeny tiny panic room. You can come in here, you can sit on the toilet, you can scroll on your phone for like five minutes, take a breath, have your moment, separate from everyone else easy access from everything. Back into this way. This is the living room. I don't know what's politically correct to call it a living room or a family room. My parents always called it a family room and I think that means that we were like a little trashy. We're back to where we started. Big silver hole is where the new front door will be. And you can see this, they all got patched up. This is where the front door used to be. It just wasn't centered with everything. I wanted everything to be centered, symmetrical, fitting together. So this is like a little coat closet. Very nice, very nice. Be very careful. You make it to the top of the stairs. You're like, oh, I've had a great day downstairs. If I was like a super mega rich quadrillionaire, yeah, the reason that I'm not a <laughs> Christian is because I think that words like Cotrazillionaire exist. I would start building hotels. I feel like in one of my past lives, maybe I was like a Paris Hilton. No, babe, like you were not, but I love my enthusiasm sometimes. So I wanted everything to feel very hotel-esque. I'm sorry to keep interrupting, but it is four in the morning. I fucking hate myself watching this. I feel like I'm watching a character in a parallel unit. Like what? Like what am I? I'm sorry. This is the entrance to the first, I don't know what the politically correct term is now. Entrance to the main bedroom. You come in here, this is where I will be sleeping, living, eating, doing everything <laughs> that I do in my life. You still have to put said balcony outside, but you open the door. Right now, it's pretty much just a drop to your death. When I'm feeling a little low, I try to stay away. Lock it. I wanted a get ready with me oasis. Like I wanted everything to be tucked away into one space, the bathroom, the closet, the shower, everything. I wanted it to be behind one door. So this is the door. Oh, I wrote all these little notes. Sometimes when I take a shot, which I haven't taken a shot in like 
<laughs> in a while. Every time I like open my eyes somewhere, Maddie's standing there just like staring so <laughs> scarily. I'm on like a sobriety kick. Eventually, someone 200 years from now is not gonna appreciate all of the time and the effort that I put into redesigning this thing, and they're gonna start tearing this bitch down. What's really crazy about the internet is that people, dozens and dozens and dozens of years from now, will be able to watch these videos and they'll be like, oh my gosh, this was our house that got built by this girl, and I wanna tell those people right now that I will be haunting your asses forever in this house, so don't change anything and don't. Don't fuck with me because, you know, I'll be a friendly ghost. Anyway, you come in here, teeny tiny little panic bathroom. All of this, this is where like the bathroom vanities will be, the mirrors. So when Trinity and I turned 21, we went to the Palms in Vegas, which I'm pretty sure has shut down. But they gave us this room that had this really sick shower room. So you opened the glass door and like the bathtub was inside of the shower. And I was always like, oh my gosh, if I ever build my own house, I want the bathtub to be inside of the shower. So it's an entire wet room. Shower will be over here, bathtub over here. You can lock yourself in here, steam it on up. This little entrance right here goes back into le closet. And then once you're done with that, you can come back out here and you can resume real life. I wanted to put the laundry room upstairs because every time I talk to a realtor, they're like, make sure you put the laundry room upstairs. The laundry room is upstairs, so the girls have easy access to the laundry room. People in the basement, sucks for them. You gotta walk upstairs. But this is the laundry room. Bedroom opening number two. And you can come back in here. All of this is the bedroom. And then same thing as the other bedroom, it has this opening, vanities, shower, toilet, closet, everything's in a row, everything's easy to access. Girl's paradise, chef's kiss. I think it works, I think it works excellently. Pray you don't trip and fall. You keep going, you'll eventually hit the basement. Now that we have heat and air, I like pop the heat up to 80, and Brian is just like my dad. He's always like, who turned the heat up to 80? And I'm like, it wasn't me, it was the ghost. <laughs> As you can see behind me, this is like the entertainment room. Still don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this. Any interior designers wanna help a girl out with a media room, you let me know. And this. I don't know. Originally I was thinking strip holes and karaoke stage, but I think we're gonna put that outside in the barn. Keep it a little under wraps. In the original house, there was not a basement downstairs. I meant bathroom. All of this plumbing got added because you need to have the water and the plumbing and the drainage for a bathroom down here. And how I envision this basement is a boy's basement because you know, I said we had the girl's paradise upstairs. Bring some masculine energy into our life. All the vanities are black, the wet bar is black, dark stone, the sinks are like a concrete, dark and moody and mysterious, whereas like everything upstairs is light and bright. This is bedroom number three. Nice built-in closet. Someone is gonna love this room because you have like your own entrance down here and no one upstairs will know what the fuck you're doing. Fourth and final bedroom. Nice windows. Same thing if you turn around here. Cute little closet over here. This is the bathroom. Two sinks down here. Shower, bathtub. I'm nearing 5'10". So I tested, I made sure. The bathtub fit your whole entire body up to your neck with water. I think that's everything that I have to say. <laughs> that is like the final layout of the house and everything that we changed. I'm emotional about it. I feel the chicken coming up my throat again, so I'm gonna stop talking now because I might vomit. <laughs> and I need another shot of Pepto-Bismol. Happy Sunday, everyone. Cut. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, morning. <laughs> I need to get you a little microphone. Then we could both have microphones. Well, we've had a fantastic week here at uh, Morgan's home. Mechanical's about done. The electricians are here buttoning everything up by the end of this week. Plumber is 
complete. He's got a couple of nail plates to put on, a couple of pipes to strap. Other than that, we should be going for insulation uh, next week. And then drywall. And then drywall. That's Sam, so Lucas, Stingray, David, all, all of our people. subcontractors, Rock Electric, Valiant Air, CSI Plumbing, everyone's been working really hard and it's it's showing right now. And March, March, everything gets good. We'll be wearing shorts. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be an Instagram star. Instagram. Star. This is the only piece of furniture I have and it's falling apart. How embarrassing. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I have like these major light bulb moments. This morning I woke up and the light that just came like flashing through my brain is that it's a damn shame that my chicken coop confessionals got left behind. But I can tell you why, okay? Because the last time I sat in this chicken coop, I was having a cuckoo ka -choo mental breakdown, okay? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> And in every single one of these uh, chicken chahoots that I was having, why does it never end? I always said, you know, one day when this problem comes to an end, I'm gonna be able to look back on these and I'm gonna be able to reflect my growth. And today I was reflecting my growth and you know what I've done to grow in the past two months. Well, first of all, I got this rhinestone hat. Second of all, I've chilled out a lot, a lot. <laughs> I mean, like, come on. Does this look like the face of someone that's gonna come on to all of you people and have a mental fucking breakdown? I think the fuck not. <laughs> you know what growing up on the internet is? It's looking at a video of yourself absolutely losing your mind and being like, okay, maybe I won't click post. Maybe I'll just keep this one inside for me. I have maxed out my panic attacks for the entire year by the month of March. It's giving mentally stable chicken mom. I'm telling you. It's been a really remarkable week. Cheers to life. Cheers to the sun coming out. Cheers to it not getting dark at 3 p.m. Cheers. I love you all so much. As always, I do not deserve you. That's it, okay. Oh, thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring this vlog. As always, you can use code MORGAN for 35% off your first order plus free shipping. That is it, chicken coop kisses. Moi, I love you so much.